When President Mnangagwa appointed his cabinet, there was outcry that it was the same old God, uh, not enough youth, and not enough women. But understand this, both President Mnangagwa and Shamisa do not yet have the room to build their own teams. They have to deal with legacy issues, at least until after elections. The plan, the game plan shown today by Nelson Chamisa, I think it's smart under his circumstances. The game plan is discredit, raise money, and at all costs secure a seat for yourself at the top of the table, no matter the outcome or the results. Now, Nelson Chimisa made 10 appointments today. I want us to deal with why he made those appointments, and then I want to look at some of the people who he did put in those appointments. Understand this, the team that Nelson Chimisa picked is masterfully destroying the image of Zimbabwe. They are pro-sanctions and they are pro-GNU, but more importantly, these are people who know where to find their audience. Look at all their profiles. It has nothing to do with their ability to build the economy or move the country forward. They are people that are good at particularly one thing, crying at the top of their voice. Jameson Timber, he's 65 years old. He was appointed the ZEC uh, liaison officer. Understand the background of this man. This is the man who was the right hand to Morgan Changirai. He's right now the chief negotiator for the MDC Alliance. Do you understand the significance of this man, there isn't one. He lost his primary election to a non-entity called John Banda, who wasn't even there for the election. He lost the MDC seat to a ZANU-PF candidate in 2013, Jason uh, Pasada. Most of you have wondered, why is Fadzai Mahere not in the alliance? I will break it down for you. For the longest time, Fadzai Mahere has gotten momentum. She's built good ground in Mount Pleasant. But why is she not in the alliance? Because Jameson Timber is in the same constituency. He put a stop to any effort to bring Fadzai in. So now you have a situation where they could have done better with Fadzai, but they chose to lock her out. Second, you have a guy called Dr. N. Sibanda. He's the new spokesperson. This guy is 39 years old, well academically decorated. He is the new Jonathan Moyo. Mark my words. This guy will manage Tendai BD for Nelson Chemisa. He will also manage any fight Tendai uh, Nelson Chemisa has. But more importantly, he will make Simon Kaya Moyo stumble every sentence against this man, seasoned political spinster. Grace Quinge is the new representative to Brussels and the EU, a seasoned human rights activist. She's the Itai Zamara before the Itai Zamara. She's one of those people who've been on every platform where you've been invited to say anything that is bad about Zimbabwe. She brings the sympathizers who have the money to speak about the Zimbabwean issue. In America, you've got a guy called Ralph Black. Again, a political non-entity, but he's got one thing he brings for Nelson Chamisa. He understands and knows his way around the white holes of Washington. Austin Moyo, 58 years old, the new South African representative. He's the MDC South African chairperson. This guy has been active in whether it was immigration, whether it was asylum seekers. He was suspended in 2005. Morgan Changbrai brought him back in. If you want to read on it, look for um, Tulisi Matutu. He wrote extensively about this guy in 2005. He is important because should we end up going to a GNU, South Africa becomes a key player. Elliot Pepe, 45 years old. He's the new UK business attache, uh, also covering Europe. One problem with this guy, he knows nothing about business. He's never run one business in his life. But why has he been appointed? Because he's good at one thing, discrediting Emerson Mnangagwa. Each of these people are what you call political busybodies. They speak a lot, they say a lot. They don't really mean much of what they say, but they are effective to people who want to believe the narrative that Emerson Mnangagwa is bad. You can't even Google these people. If you think I'm lying, try to go ahead. Google any of these personalities or characters you will find, you cannot find them online. I don't think Nelson Chamisa's uh, strategy is bad or his appointments are wrong. I think what he has done is he has gone for a strategy that secures him a seat at the top of the table no matter the election results. You now have to have Chamisa sitting at the table. I think he's now playing dirty, but is that a bad thing? This is politics. It's not a fair game. Like they always say, Abaiwa, Gabude. I'll see you tomorrow. It's nomination court. Head back. Hi guys, thank you for supporting the Lumumba Files. To make sure you don't miss a show, press the subscribe button below and the notification button. That's the one with the little bell and you will always get told when I put up a show. Thank you for watching. Head bowed.